guess the big question is, you know, d did the pilots rely, as some have suggested, too heavily on automation, the computers that can run the plane? That is one of the key questions that investigators are digging into. And, you know, we just got some new video coming out of that hearing that we want to get right to. Uh, we know that that video, again, this is from airport security cameras, uh, and this shows us a different perspective that we have never seen before of this crash as it happened. Uh, that is the video that you're looking at there. Now, some cr incredible details coming out of this hearing. The NTSB says that the pilot flying the plane was concerned prior to the crash. He told investigators that he found a visual approach difficult and stressful. Uh, we should mention he was tasked with making a visual approach as he was going to San Francisco's airport. Now, when asked how confident he was mm -hmm. about his knowledge of the 777's automated flight systems, I'm quoting from the transcript, he said uh, he's not so confident. He felt that he should study more. Again, Again, that coming from the pilot who was at the controls saying he wasn't very confident with the automated systems inside that plane. Now, NTSB investigators are concerned about pilots over reliance on automated systems in the cockpit, specifically when it comes to the plane's auto throttle. Uh, it's the equivalent of cruise control in a car, and the pilot thought that the auto thr throttle was engaged, but it turned out it was not, and that caused the plane to fall to a dangerously mm -hmm. slow speed. Uh, it suggests a few things. The pilot didn't recognize that the auto thr throttle was disengaged. They weren't cross-checking, possibly, the equipment, mm -hmm. or again, they didn't fully understand how to operate the mm. plane's automated systems. Any way you look at it, that is a big, scary issue mm. if you are a passenger on that plane.